What up, gang? This is Ken Zerk, Ken Zillion, Zika Million, the villain from the Trilligan, and we are back with Bangin' Rampa Trigger Happy Havoc. Last time we left off, Yaki was outed as a traitor and executed. And on the last day of the school killing trip, we walk outside. Yeah. So, we're about to see what's going on here. I don't trust this personally. I was in such a good mood before I hopped on this, bro. And seeing this again is actually like messing with me. But we're about this. I don't trust this at all, but we're about to see what it is. Ah, uh, how's your man? Good morning. Good timing. Good timing. What do you mean? See? Remember Nagito's video message that we found at the factory? Yeah, when we were dealing with the bomb wreckers. What about? Well? Apparently, there was more to that message inside the laptop. Huh? Yep. We weren't able to see it until a day or so had passed. Apparently it was locked by a timer. Mm. Did he set it up so we wouldn't be able to watch it until after the class trial? Why would he do that? Perhaps. Maybe Nagito planned to leave this as a will. Nagito's will? Where is it right now? Mm. We were just planning to meet at the restaurant and watch it together. Got it, the restaurant. What is going on? I'm so lost. Yeah. Hey, you're late. Is it true? Nagato really left the other message? <laughs> Yo, before Miss Sonia and thank her. She's the one who found it. <laughs> I was going to walk with Gundam's hamster, and I found it when I stopped by the factory. Listen well. Yeah, it's screw Gundam's back. Yeah, there's something wrong. A coincidence, you say? Wrong. That is the will of casualty guiding you. Huh? Oh, Miss Sonya be going for a walk with Gundam. I never allowed that. Damn right. Anyway, let's hurry up and play it. Yeah, you're right. This is trippy. What is going on? Mm, I wonder who's watching this message. Is it the traitor from the Future Foundation? If so, congratulations. Looks like I ended. Looks like it ended the way I hoped it would. Ended the way he hoped it would. Damn it. Nagato was trying to kill everyone except the traitor. It was just like Monokuma said. Hey, hey. We really set up the traitor as the killer and even tried to make them survive the trial? But why would he do that? <laughs> Enough of your useless talk. It appears there's still more. What is going on? But if everyone but the traitor is watching this video, unfortunate. then unfortunately, I guess I lost. That outcome is the complete opposite of the hope I believe in. Well, not that it matters for me anymore. I mean, no matter what the outcome is, it doesn't matter for a dropout like me. Now then, now then let's put this meaningless introduction aside and get to business. Because I don't know who I'm talking to, I'm going to explain so that both sides will understand. First of all, you might be wondering why I did what I did. Well, I just took action after talking about it for so long. The special prize in the final dead room allowed me to learn a certain truth. It wouldn't be troublesome if everyone found out, so I already disposed of that page. But anyway, I was totally surprised, I mean... Future Foundation's traitor must have known that truth all along. So I was able to learn the truth about this world and resolve to take action immediately. I shouldn't have made fun of Hajime. Deep down, I always wanted to become a protagonist myself. <laughs> now that I know the truth, as I look back on Monokuma's actions, I'm starting to see what he's planning. He's giving us information about the island's mystery and the foundation he's raising all your hopes but only so he can lead you to unimaginable despair. <laughs> Plus, Monokuma's trying to show that despair to someone. Perhaps that someone is... <laughs> Seriously pissing me the hell off. He's what a hopeless truth. Who is Monokuma's true identity? How could they come up with a plan like that? But that's enough reflecting on the past. Let's talk about the future now. If you want to escape Monokuma's plan, there's a specific place you have to go to. 
key to enter that place is that message you found at Nezumi Castle. Well... Normally you need to follow a bunch of steps to enter that place. But since that message gets rid of those steps, you can think of it as an easter egg or something. It was probably left by someone other than Monokuma or Monami. That place has nothing to do with me. Uh, you guys still think you're not gonna die or something. Stop it. Stop it. Stop. I had to hide this until my plan came to an end, but I guess now's a nice time to announce it, right? So then I'll announce the password. 11037. That's the password that was written in Nezumi Castle. You have to use that to enter that specific place. That's the only way you can stop Monokuma. I feel like I've been waiting, talking forever, but that's all for me. With this, my duty is finished. I believe my actions will become the foundation of this world's hope. And if that really happens, praise me. Tell others what I've accomplished. You wrecked the bronze statue of me. Respect me. Please call me the ultimate hope. Got Chiaki killed. I'm not. Nagito's final message. Um, that 11037 number that Nagito said was the password. It's no mistake. Ahiru. Oh, this. There's no mistake in it. That's the password to enter the ancient ruin. Hey. You better hurry, I think. Let's go before the countdown reaches zero. Yeah, you're right. Let's go. I'm not a time to relax, I need to hurry to the ancient world. We're still in chapter five. Um somehow it is quite nerve wracking. Yeah. Is it really safe to go inside? What's gonna be in there? You are a boy, right? It's so unreliable to be freaked out like that. You're a man, aren't you? <laughs> There's also that countdown. There's no time to stand around. I'm gonna do it! Damn right. Let's let's, let's our last chance to get inside. <laughs> I'm starting to feel nauseous from all the thrills, the chills, the kills. Thanks. Uh, let it out. We're not. Uh, Dumbass. Now's not the time to fuck around. I'm gonna be all right. You don't have to worry. I will protect my young master. Now then, let's go forward together. Shut up. Hell, don't treat me like a kid. This is your leader's order. Believe that hope lies beyond this point. That is your leader's order. <laughs> what? What was that? <laughs> I tell her that you only understand piggy talk. <laughs> I said you're so cool in piggy talk. In the name of my family. I'm going to kill you. Hajime. How's you made the password, please? One one three zero seven, right? It's gonna be fine. There's no need for you to worry. The only thing beyond this point is a shining future. Now then, let's open the door to the future. Beyond this door. The future is waiting, a sparkling future. Now then, let's move forward. Is this a trial ground? But why am I at a trial ground? It sure looks like a trial ground, but the vibe is way different than the one from before. Um... By the way... Huh? Um... Where did everyone go? Hmm? Everyone? What? Something's wrong. What did I do? No, that's not it. I'm not the weird one. What's really weird is... world
What's going on? It would be wrong to say it was swaying from side to side. It was actually shaking rather intensely. The room I was in, it was shaking from side to side. The shaking was quite irregular. Just when you thought it was a series of small shakes, it would suddenly shake violently. And every time that happened, I'd have to steady myself with, the, with the, my foot. I couldn't stand up very well, but for me, it was comforting. I never thought not knowing what to expect could be so fun, so I was feeling rather excited. But I figured I'd get bored of that feeling soon enough. That's what I was expecting. For me, a person who was loved by talent. Detecting irregularities among irregularities won't be that difficult. Ah, oh, how boring. Do you like ships? On the other side of the dark room, I heard a voice. It was clearly directed at me. Ah, you look like you were having fun, so that's what I assumed. You do like ships, right? Ships? Ah, that's right, that's it. So this is a ship. Ah, you just realized that now? Is it really that funny? Hey, if you want, care to talk a little? The silence was starting to bore me. Instantly, I saw his true character. The overfamiliar attitude, the friendly smile. But under that thin skin, I could detect a foul, offensive odor, like some kind of putrid slime. In a sensible way, of course. How should I put this? There was a smell exclusive to those who were already finished. Nice to meet you. I'm Nagito Komaeda. Anyway, lucky me. It's been a while since anyone was willing to talk to me. To share a room with a person like that. Yep, I'm definitely lucky. Lucky. Ah, so that's your talent then? A boring talent. Boring talent, huh? That's exactly what it is. But for someone I'm meeting for the first time to say that so suddenly, that's because I have luck as well. Huh? Even I possess a talent as boring as luck. Huh? Possess, huh? I'm starting to get really interested. Who are you? You're obviously from Hostbeak Academy too, right? So you're one of us. Ah, oh, but that's weird. This is the first time I've ever seen you. Hey, can you tell me why you're here? How did you end up here? How boring. Ah, uh, sorry. I'm often told I'm terrible at making conversation. Not you. This world. Huh? This world is full of boring people. People who lack talent stick together and oppress those who do possess talent. Even though they know they're insignificant, they don't try to acknowledge their true superiors. They are profoundly desperate to drag them down to their level. And because of these bastards, this world has come to a deadlock. This world has stopped evolving. How boring. Well, the world is shaped by the will of the majority. It makes sense that it bends to those who lack talent. That's why we're in our present situation. Ah, uh, perhaps, does that have anything to do with the reason you're here? Boring people make no contributions to the world, not even a speck of dust. That's why my teachers taught me that a certain degree of selection must be performed. Looks like they had high expectations for you, huh? That's completely different from me. But what are you planning to do? Now that you could have ended, now that you've ended up like this, listen well, using people is a talent too. It is now my turn to use that person just as they used me in the past. That person? Are you talking about ultimate despair? But how? I mean, they're already... I have it with me. The contribution that person left to me, even now it rests in my pocket. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm definitely lucky. I can't believe I'm speaking with someone as amazing as you. And will I be able to see her again? Will I be able to see the person I hate with every fiber of my being again? This time. Will I be able to kill her this time? The person I hate so much? Hate? Then explain your hand. Ah, this. The end of that bandage is a woman's hand, right? Isn't it amazing? I can't move it, of course. I mean, it's not my hand after all. But even now, it still hasn't rotted. Maybe that means it's becoming one with me. Isn't it amazing? 
I have successfully become one with ultimate despair, my sworn enemy. I see, so you salvaged the body. The body. Really you really are, are a boring person. person. I don't want you to misunderstand. I just see her as my enemy, you know? Because she's my sworn enemy, because I hate her so much. That's why I took her power. That I... Wait, huh? Why I hate her? But oh, that's strange. Huh. Uh, look out the window, we're finally here. Starting to see it too, right? That's Jabberwock Island, isn't it? Exciting. Wonder what's gonna happen on that island once we get there. What's gonna happen? What the freak is going on? I can already predict what will happen. Huh? I already know because I am loved by talent. But no matter what happens, it is of no concern to me. I will not be able to participate in what lies ahead. Huh? Really? I don't really understand, but... I guess we have to part ways for a while. That's disappointing. We seem to get along pretty well. Hey, can I see you again? There is no reason we'll ever meet again. After all, you're boring. Your talent, your thoughts, your entire existence is boring to me. You really don't play along, do you? Huh? What is this? It's a door. There's a door. Huh? A door? Why is the door here? Where am I? How did I get here? Where am I supposed to go? Huh? Isn't this... A classroom? Even so, it's a very strange classroom. Why am I in a place like this? I went inside the ancient ruin with everyone else. And I arrived at a place that looked like a trial ground, but then why? It's not connecting. I don't know why I'm here. It's like there's no connection between how I left the trial ground and how I ended up here. It's just like before. We were all gathered in that classroom just before we arrived at Jabberwock. But where is this place? Is it somewhere on Jabberwock? Ahem, ahem, testing, testing. Mic check, one, two. This is a test of the school broadcast system. Am I on? Can everyone hear me? Okay, well then. Welcome to Hope Speak Academy, you guys. At this point, I shall explain the graduation exam to you all. So please assemble at the gymnasium immediately. Huh? Did he say what I think he just said? He definitely said, welcome to Hope Speak Academy. But why would this place be Hope Speak Academy? And not just that, what is the graduation exam? Is the killing over already? Even the hallway doesn't feel like a school at all. What a creepy place. At least it doesn't look like a normal school at all. It's definitely a lie. There's no way this place is Hope's Peak Academy. Is this creepy place the Hope's Peak Academy that I've admired for so long? It's probably a building that Monokuma made to startle us, just like the funhouse. That's right, that, that's definitely it. Monokuma said to come to the gymnasium, right? Then I'll go and definitely clear things up. Seriously, what is going on? The gymnasium is here, right? Alright, I'm going inside. Something might be waiting, but I'm not going to cower away anymore. So I brace myself and cautiously open the door.
wasn't prepared for what was waiting for me on the other side of that door. It was a normal gymnasium. Damn right. Yo, Hajime. Yo. You heard the announcement it came here too? You guys did too, right? What's going on? Hey, what do you make of all this? Monokuma said this place was Host Peak Academy or something? That is. That cannot be possible. Well, yeah. you're right. Any way you look at it, it's impossible. <laughs> Hello, how does it feel to return to the long awaited Host Peak Academy? Why, you. You. Where are we? Where the heck did you lock us up this time? What a shock! I just told you guys this is Host Peak Academy. I'm sorry if I'm not being as energetic and like just funny and as I normally am. I'm just. After last chapter, I'm not in the best mood. And this is just so trippy. I don't know what to think. If I'm, I'm, honestly, I really just don't know what to think. Of course not. There's no way in hell that's true. No, no. Oh, but it is. I mean, this is definitely Host Peak Academy. Well, what's left of it anyway? What's left of it. Well, what? Didn't I tell you before? Unfortunately, Host Peak Academy fell to ruin. Lies. You were serious about that? Stupid fool. But of course it fell to ruin. I mean, they were doing things that they deserved to be ruined for. What do you mean? I don't like this. Anyway, I'm pretty disappointed. But through all this trouble to bring in Host Peak Academy, you don't feel surprised or nostalgic. Fine, fine. Oh well, it's not like I did this for you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Even if you don't feel nostalgic, I'm sure someone is feeling nostalgic right now. Um, with me. Enough with this bullshit. Just spit it out already. Where did you take us, you bastard? Um, well, I'm not certain of my memories. I believe we entered the ancient ruin. In other words, it means I made this Hope Speak Academy between the door to the ruin and the inside of the ruin. <sighs> what do you mean, between? Hey, hey, hey. What do you mean, made? What's this? Are your minds getting the grumblies that only knowledge can satisfy? <laughs> Good, very good. It's fine to hurry along to the graduation exam, but it's in my nature to provide a little entertainment. Entertainment? You're planning to make us do something, aren't you? No way! It's nothing to be so cautious about. It's not like you'll be making life exchanges or anything like that. Shing. It's just a simple graduation exam. Huh? What is a graduation exam? Hey, um... Well, as a headmaster, I'm conflicted, you know? On one hand, I'm really happy you're finally going to graduate. Are you sure? But on the yes. other hand, I'm worried about whether you guys will be okay in the outside world. So? That's why I'm thinking about telling you what the outside world is like before you make a decision. Whether you want to leave Jabberwock Island or stay here. <sighs> We're obviously going to get out. There's no way we'd stay here. That's right. This is annoying. Just hurry up and let us choose. Let us choose right now. You can't do that! The main cast hasn't arrived yet! Hey. Hey, um... We named you guys are just extras until the guest of honor arrives. So enough complaining already. Hurry up and start researching the outside world. What do you mean? Uh-huh. I've dispersed all the teaching materials you need for your research throughout Host Peak Academy. Well, I don't think this needs to be said, but... All the information is accurate and contains no lies whatsoever. Otherwise, the main cast is gonna hate me. So, please, rest assured and strive to do your best during your field trip. And as usual, after leaving us with cryptic words, Monokuma disappeared. Even after the setting changed, even if the killing was finished, she was still the same as usual. Um... What is going on? Outside world? Main cast? Somehow, I have a bad feeling about this. Hey, hey. Like he kept existing at this place as Hope's Peak Academy. But that's impossible, right? What are you saying? How do you know we make it back to Host Peak Academy? How do we make it back to Host Peak Academy from a tropical island? It's impossible. It cannot be. There's no place for Host Peak Academy to exist on Jabberwock Island. <laughs> I said I wanted to go back, but I don't want to go back to a creepy place like this. What does this all mean? So many things I don't understand have happened on the island. This building is really Host Peak Academy? This is a Host Peak Academy I've been admiring for so long. 
What in the world is going on? Damn it, why is this happening? Why? I was finally able to attend Host Peak Academy. I finally thought I'd become confident in myself. Even so, I... Wanted to become Hope? If that's what you're thinking, just stop it. Listen carefully. The only human worthy of becoming Hope possesses amazing talents and a strong will. And the moment you're born into this world, you either have that or you don't. It has nothing to do with effort. You must be chosen by God, by Hope to become Hope. That's why it's not even worth admiring. Or were you so blinded by your admiration for Hope's Peak Academy that you couldn't even see that? Ugh. You're just some nobody from the Reserve Corps who never had a talent to begin with. A nobody who forgot he was a nobody, that's all. Hating. If I really am a nobody, then you should have just left me alone. Why do I have to go through something like this? Um... Hajime, did something happen? Huh? Hey, bastard. Now's not the time to zone out. Sorry, it's nothing. Um, I really don't get it, but is that all? I'm gonna do it. As long as I don't beat the crap out of Monokuma, nothing's gonna be solved. Is that what it is? If that's what it means? Hey. Just what the heck is Monokuma anyway? He's not part of the Future Foundation, right? Um, if you say that, then what is the Future Foundation? Geez. Even though Chiaki and Monami are gone, our situation hasn't changed one bit, which means the Future Foundation wasn't our enemy. That's the only thing I can think of. You serious? So, so they're not world ender? Then we really were tricked by Monokuma. However, However, the Future Foundation is responsible for trapping us on this island, right? Regarding that matter, I believe Monami never once denied that. Damn it. Even if they are our allies, they might not be our allies. Maybe Monokuma is telling us to investigate that information on our own. Chiaki said she cannot betray the Future Foundation. But if she were still alive, she definitely would have helped us. No, even her just being with us would have been a big help. Hmm. What should we do? Damn it. Well, that's obvious. We're trying to get out of here safely. We're trying to do that graduation exam, right? So annoying. Graduation exam, huh? I'm not really good at taking exams. Huh. Well, I guess it's better than people dying. Jeez. Monokuma says something about a field trip, right? Telling us to investigate like we have been? Alright! I'm gonna do it! Prepare yourself! Like... Yeah, we might be able to learn about... Something about Host Peak Academy. About ourselves. Uh, I don't care what we do anymore. We can't go back to our normal lives. If we can just go back to our normal lives, I'm fine. Hey. And we can go home when this is over, right? We can finally get off this damn island, right? <laughs> if that's the case, let's all leave this island alive by any means. Of course! Hell yes! Almost do. He's right. Now it's not the time to bemoan how unlucky I am. What this place is, what really happened to Host Peak Academy, none of that matters. What's important is, I need to leave this island with the others. We sacrificed so many lives in order to survive just so we could do that. that there's no way we could stop now, but... Monokuma should already know that's what we're thinking. So why did he say that? We have to decide on our own whether or not we want to leave Jabberwock. He should already know that we never choose to stay on this island. Hey, hey! So what are we gonna do? Can we start already? Hmm. What are we even looking for? Do we need just need to investigate this weird ass building? Even so. Even so, I don't think we'll find the answer to all our questions inside this damn building. <laughs> well, I'll just go on ahead for now. Whoa. Jeez. What is that idiot thinking, running ahead without being cautious? Man. She obviously isn't thinking about anything. However. We'll be fine. There will be no more. There will no, no longer be any situation where we must exchange each other's lives. Right. So we should do our best as well. Like they say, it isn't scary if every. It's, it's not scary if everyone stops at a green light. If we stopped at a green light, we'd never reach our goal. Jeez, you're pathetic. Kane already took off on her own. It might be faster if we split up and look around too. <laughs> like Sonia said, if there's no more killing, we don't have to worry about anyone betraying us anymore. <laughs> Let's get this over with and go home. Later. I'll go on ahead. I'll see you guys later. With those brief words, Fuyuhiko left the gymnasium. Excuse me. I shall do my best to obtain a wonderful clue that will be, be useful to everyone. Now then, please excuse me. Sonia took a deep bow and then left the gymnasium. Oh my. Miss Sonia. Miss Sonia. 
Please don't leave me. I'll be in danger if I'm left alone. How's it with you chase out the Sony who had just departed and left the gymnasium? I should hurry and start too. Just a bit more. Just a bit more and it's going to end. I can escape this nightmare and return to my usual peaceful everyday life. The only thing we can do is advance toward that hope. Even though I don't understand, that a lot of horrifying things keep happening. For the sake of everyone who couldn't make it this far, I'm definitely going home. This reminds me, this this is like the um the other one, right? It should be fine. So I'ma go in and start investigating. How do we get here? Huh? That's weird. This is the hallway I walked through to get to the gymnasium, but clearly different. This Monokuma's doing too? He's trying to confuse us again? I don't know how he's doing it, but he keeps doing it over and over. He's so persistent. I'm not gonna fall for his trap. There's no way this will make me back down. Um. Oh wait, there's a strange feeling to it, no? As if an invisible wall has been re erected to limit our movement. I am concerned. It's just me. Oh, it's not just you. It's like he's trying to force us to choose Jabberwock Island or force us to fail. Well, he's deciding where we can and can't look. Is this a dojo? Full of strange thing that make me think there's no way we're inside a school. Perhaps it's a mistake to expect this to be inside of the building to make What's this? Is this a manga? The title is Manga for Morons, A History of Post Peak Academy by Monica. Why is a manga with a suspicious looking title laying out in the open like this? <laughs> Let's start with history first, class! Hey. Reading manga is the third best way to learn about history. Then what's the first, you ask? That depends on the person. I like thought Monokuma made this. That totally explains how suspicious it looks. I really want to ignore it, but there's no way I can do that. Fine, I'll look at it. I'll look at anything that might, act, might be a clue to getting out of here, no matter what it is. I picked up the manga off the floor and started flipping through the pages. It's an introduction to Host Peak Academy's history as narrated by the cutesy character on the cover. The story begins with an introduction to Host Peak Academy. Host Peak Academy is a government funded school of privilege where only the most talented high school students can hope to attend. Built to raise hope in the nation's future, many of its alumni are key leaders of various industries. New students are chosen through a scouting process, but the ones who scout them are Hope Speak Academy's teachers, who serve as both educators and researchers of talent. Hope Speak Academy isn't just a school for talented, it's also a school for researching talent as well. However, for the past two, for you few years, Hope Speak Academy has been suffering from a decline in funding. If this persists, the Academy believes they will not be able to make progress with their research of talent, so they decided to implement a new system. The Reserve Department. Unlike the main department who scouts for students, the Reserve Department utilizes the general entrance exam. Normal facility was hired and placed in charge of looking after the Reserve Department. The expenses and exam fees for the Reserve Department are quite high compared to most high schools. Nevertheless, Host Peak Academy received an endless stream of applicants. Host Peak Academy was now available to talentless commoners, people who only cared about the brand. With this, Hope Speak Academy managed to amass sizable funds and begin further research of talent. To create Hope Speak Academy's earnest wish, a true genius who would become mankind's hope. But just when they thought everything was going well, an unprecedented incident occurred. 
the incident that triggered the tragedy, the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. That's right, it was a tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy. Hope's Peak Academy was crippled by this incident and was forced to shut down without accomplishing anything. The end. Yeah, I knew about all that. The ending was so sudden, like a manga suddenly canceled in the middle of its run. Plus, these phases mentioned at the end of the manga, the tragedy and the tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy, these names are so melodramatic, there's no way these incidents really happen, right? The manga only mentions the name, so I don't really know the details, but no, it'd just be a waste of time to wonder about things that don't make sense. More importantly, I learned something about because of this manga, the reserve department. That department was only built to collect money. I was one of those reserve course students, right? But hold on. Mm, that's weird. Oh, you're here again. The thing that's weird is you, of course. Huh? Hey, hey. Why did you forget you were part of the reserve department? The future foundation only took away your school life memories, right? But you should have known even before you entered that you had no talent, right? So I think it's weird that you actually forgot something like that, too. What do you want me to say? By the way... Based on my assumption, the future foundation must have wanted to hide the fact you were one of those reserved course students. I got it! Or you willingly sealed those memories yourself. Huh? <laughs> You wanted to become confident in yourself, so you wanted to forget everything that embarrassed you. You know, when humans experience trauma, sometimes they erase their memory of what happened. <laughs> it happens pretty often, not that I know anything about that, though. Are you saying it's my fault I forgot? That's not it. Come on. When things get inconvenient, you always get angry and try to brush it off. Well, that's expected of a reserved course student. Damn it, what the heck? Oh, guacamole. And I really don't like how trippy this is. What's going on? Oh, it's kind of creepy. Can't go to places that I should be able to go. It's like some rule is being enforced for no reason. <laughs> that is an invisible wall or something. Another book. It's another manga. It's lying on top of the desk. This one is manga for morons. The tragedy of Host Peak Academy. Huh? Was it the tragedy of Host Peak Academy mentioned in that other manga too? Why Host Peak Academy went bankrupt? It was the trigger for the biggest, most tragic, most awful event in human history. If I read this manga, will I be able to learn a little more about that incident? I took the manga from the desk and started flipping through the pages to see what I could learn about the event known as the Tragedy of Host Peak Academy. Bars. The story made heavy of the use of outdated stylized drawings depicting characters solving mysteries. What's written here is, as the name suggests, the Tragedy of Host Peak Academy occurred at Host Peak Academy. The key player in that event was a student named Izuru Kamakura. Izuru was a genius known as a symbol of hope. Host Peak Academy used all their resources to develop him. Supposedly, Azura was a genius among geniuses and possessed various talents, building superior talent for the hope of mankind. The Academy referred to Azura as the ultimate hope. To protect such rare talent, the Academy completely concealed all evidence of Azura's origin and identity. Because of that, First of all, Makoto Nayagi is the ultimate hope. You need to get that, get, you need to clear that up. Because of that, most of the students at the academy were completely unaware of Izuru's existence. But Izuru, who was known as a symbol of hope, was responsible for the horrible incident. 13 students of Host Peak Academy Student Council among the academy's best and brightest were brutally murdered by Izuru. However, the incident did not end there. The Academy tried to protect Uzuru's superior talent and concealed the incident as though, as though it never happened. However, a certain student began working in secret to use that incident to their advantage. The student uncovered what the Academy did by making, and by making that knowledge public, it stoked the fires of reserve course students 
who had long been dissatisfied with how they'd been treated. And the uprising began, and that herald Host Peak Academy's destruction. This is the entirety of the tragedy of Host Peak Academy. Eventually, the incident would lead to that horrifying, devastating incident. The incident that would be known as the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. We're excited, Dog and Rumpa Zero. The heavy side closed among them. Am I supposed to believe this? There's no way 13 people were killed at Host Peak Academy. What irony! For a genius known as the ultimate hope to cause such a gruesome incident. A talent like that is too regal for society. It's like trying to buy juice with a bar of gold. You should be lucky that you're incompetent. Damn it, he always has to lead up to something offensive. It seriously pisses me off. But ultimate hope. Nagito mentioned that before too, but it looks like it means something completely different here. What Nagito said was the true meaning of hope. But for Izuru, hope simply means talent. More importantly, a genius who possesses various talents. Wish they had given me one of those talents so I didn't have to be in the reserve department. That's right, the reserve department. Here, it says the reserve department students began an uprising. Then what about me? Was I a participant? No, that's not possible. There's no way. I have no reason to do something like that. Tragedy of Host Peak Academy. Okay. Anyway, I learned about the tragedy of Host Peak Academy, but... The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history is a far worse incident, right? What kind of incident was it? And who's this other student who that isn't Izuru? A certain student who secretly used the incident to their advantage. Who is that? Junko Enoshima. The incident is really messed up. If all it's doing is raising more questions. Mysteries just keep piling up. Yeah, I'm 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 gonna go on and predict that it's actually it's Junko Enoshima. If y'all remember in Trigger Happy Happy, Junko even, well, Monokuma, but Junko controlled Monokuma, even admitted that she had no idea about what happened there. Like, it was like that when she got there, and she just took advantage of it. She said that in Trigger Happy Happy. It was gotta be Junko, right? It's like, he's got it set up so that we find these things in the order he wants us to. What the heck is with this room? It's freaking cold in here. It's like I'm in a freezer or something. If I just stand still, I might end up freezing to death. Hurry up and investigate so I can get out of here already. I see you. Uh, I've been found. There's another manga lying around here. This time the title is Biggest, Most Awful, Most Tragic Event in Human History. I knew it. The next one would obviously be about this incident. What was that incident really about? It might turn out to be something lame. Flip through the pages of the manga and hope that I was right. Oh, you're completely wrong. A story about creepily drawn characters who get involved in such horrifying incidents. An incident known as the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Is this drawn so grotesquely because the incident itself was that grotesque? Anyways, the beginning of this creepy manga starts with this sentence. The tragedy of Host Peak Academy was simply the trigger. At first, the uprising by the Reserve Corps students that triggered the tragedy of Host Peak Academy was initially hoped to be resolved quickly, but the situation continued to escalate to dangerous extremes. The movement started spreading all over the internet and fostered a thriving online community. The community was not limited to students and people from various races and nations began joining in. But the movement was not confined to the internet and it began spreading and eroding the real world. When the movement started, it was indistinguishable from any other demonstration inspired by social unrest. But as it spread across the world, certain abnormalities soon came to light. By then, it was too late. The ends and the means had vanished. The wanton destruction began their only goal. The strong butchered the weak. The weak killed the weakest among them and soon the weak formed factions to brutally murder the strong. And the violence and death continued to spread, the shock of their actions began to disappear. As if the era was regressing to more uncivilized times when senseless deaths were common, the media was oversaturated with deaths to the point where people would watch them while enjoying a meal. 
By the time the world realized what it had become, it was too late to stop what had happened. A feeling of immense despair began spreading and eventually engulfed the world. Acts of terrorism and coup d'etats began occurring across around the world, a war waged in the name of despair. A war fought not for principles, religion, or personal gain, just war. Pure war. And because of that, there was no way to resolve it. How could a movement started by high schooler students progress to such a hopeless scenario? The only explanation is the existence of a certain organization devoted to a certain student who influenced Hope Speak Academy, a group called Ultimate Despair. Instead of using Hope Speak Academy's talents for the sake of mankind's hope, they used them for the sake of mankind's despair. Key members of society used their influence to brainwash the masses in order to spread despair. Tech-savvy computer programs wrote software to spread despair. The powerful and influential created new values and morals to spread despair. And with this, they created the tragedy, the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. As long as ultimate despair exists, the despair engulfing the world will never end. The tragedy will never end. My heart was racing in my chest, but my body felt ice cold. And it wasn't because I was freezing in this room. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. This is definitely all made up. I mean, if this is really true, then what's happening in the outside world? My family, my friends, the convenience store, freaking the nearby bookstore, my favorite restaurant? What's happening to them? No way! Hey, hey, are you seriously yelling at a manga? How crazy are you? Who would enjoy reading something like this? Oh my, you didn't like the manga? <sighs> a high school student who doesn't like manga is like an office lady who doesn't eat candy. Enough, what is this messed up manga? <laughs> I thought you'd obviously know about such a horrible event that destroyed the world, but for you to not remember that? Such despair. That's the Future Foundation's fault. Though, thanks to them stealing your memories. The incident that happened during that period has been completely removed from your brains. The incident really happened and I actually forgot about it? There's no way that's possible. What are you saying? How many times do I have to tell you? All the clues here are real. Please understand, I'm rooting for you. If you don't learn a full extent of the outside world, you guys will suffer for it. I just want to help you guys so you can live well-adjusted lives in the outside world. Lisa, that's how it is. That's what he meant when he by what he said at the beginning. So conflicted, I wanted to want you to graduate. My world where you go is the okay in the outside world. That's why I'm thinking of telling you what the outside world is like before you make a decision. Whether you want to leave Jabberwock or stay here. You're trying to make us feel despair toward the outside world so we'll want to stay on the island. No way I'm going to do what he wants. Despair like that simply can't exist. The outside world should be filled with hope. Just like now. Perhaps. No, that's definitely it. Whether or not this incident really happened, what in the world is this ultimate despair do? They're devoted to a single certain student who guided Hell's Peak Academy to his destruction. Are they connected to both the tragedy and the tragedy of Hell's Peak Academy? Plus, that organization isn't just one person, but a group of people. They're known as the ultimate despair. They're high school students, right? Well, I guess if they were actually able to do it, I guess that's why they're called ultimates. You now, the killings were involved in connected to them as well? No use, I'm gonna freeze to death. I'm not my land. I need to get out of here. Shivering, I ran out of the freezer. So are we just about to go through the whole, like, the whole story of Trigger Happy Havoc? Phew, that was a close one. I nearly froze to death. Where should I go next? Here. Boy. No, I should ignore it. I'm just gonna pretend I didn't see him. Jeez. When I went inside this room, that bastard bear was suddenly in. He keeps glancing at me. Why? Huh. It's gonna be shitty either Damn way. Right. So I'll let you handle it. There's no way I'm gonna deal with that idiot. I don't wanna do that either. Hiya. Why, hello, Hajime. I hope you're doing pleasantly well. 
Are you pleasingly well? You're pleasingly well, right? What are you doing here? No, no. But there's another thing I needed to tell you on this floor. I got bored of drawing manga. Can you forgive me for telling you by word of mouth? I should have done that from the beginning. I didn't want to read your manga in the first place. A high school student who doesn't like manga is like a sumo wrestler who doesn't like eating hot pots. I'm getting fed up with your babbling. Hurry up, what do you need to tell me? It's about that key piece of information you've been waiting so long for. It's about ultimate despair. Huh? Even though the term ultimate despair refers to a group these days, Actually. it was originally the title for the hot for a high school girl who was the most powerful, evil, and feared person alive. High school. Yes, indeed. Lady Junko Inoshima. Junko Inoshima. Hey, um... As the former ultimate despair, she created a despair brimming with charm and humor and created the ultimate despairs. <laughs> there was one really horrible person in that group. Don't fuck with me. Hold on, hold on a second. I don't know what the ultimate despairs are, but it's not that easy to form an organization. There's no way people would join some fucked up organization created by a high school girl. Humans who are obsessed with their philosophy have an uncanny power to attract others. It's a trait shared by many famous leaders throughout history, right? There's nothing strange about it. <coughs> Hitler. <coughs> hey, um... That holds true for Lady Junko. With the charismatic ability to attract people, she even influenced those in the highest echelons of power. Her connections were the main reason the incidents became the tragedy in the first place. But she recruited people who would have been in a position to neutralize the threat. Huh? What was their purpose? Huh? What? Like I said, why did they cause that incident? It doesn't make any sense. They had a purpose, right? There's no way they do what they did for without any purpose. Hey, um... It was Junko Enoshima's despair. Huh? For Junko Enoshima, despair isn't about purpose. A set principles and way of life for an instinct? Despair is what defines Junko Enoshima as Junko Enoshima. What are you saying? <laughs> I'm a stuffed plushie. Hajime is a human. It's exactly like that. Junko Enoshima is full of so much despair that she truly holds is hopeless. Living, dying, eating, loving, for her, everything is despair. What the hell? Hmm. With her overwhelming force of personality, Junko recruited the ultimate despairs one by one. She controlled the despair by taking advantage of their love, hate, grudges, anything really. Junko's despair was more dreadful than any other. That idea had been slammed right into their minds. And so the ultimate despairs who had been recruited became nothing more than Junko's limbs. All despair, whether it was their own or anyone else's, was dedicated to Junko and Oshima. Like believers making offerings to their god. Like a mother providing food to her children, they dedicated all despair so they could escape from despair, all in Junko Enoshima's name. For example, they killed their families and friends and even destroyed their bodies through relentless mutilation. All and to hopelessly top it off, they completely believed it was something that they had to do. There's no way something that crazy is possible. Do you know about the final days of the Reserve Corps students during the tragedy of Holtz Peak Academy? Final days? In other words... Junko has the power to change people's values. This is also true of famous people throughout history. Hey, what do you mean final days? What happened to the Reserve Department? Of course! They fulfilled their roles as disposable limbs. They believed in what they needed to do. <laughs> and so the 2000... 357 students of the Reserve Department all committed mass suicide. Mass suicide? What'd you say? All 2,357 students? <laughs> Oops, it wasn't all of them. One person was excluded. One person was excluded, huh? Is that me? Damn it. I don't believe it. There's no way I can believe this. Ultimate despair, Jenko Inoshima. Doesn't scare me at all, I mean. Bastard. Junko Inoshima is already dead! Huh? What does that mean? How does Fuyuhiko know about that? How does he know? Hey Fuyuhiko, is it true what you said? 
Nunca Ueno Shima is really dead? What? You didn't see? There was a book called Manga for Morons, Killing School Life in that bloody classroom. A bloody classroom? No, wait. What was that you said about killing school life? Like the killings we were involved in, they were killings that happened at Hostpeak Academy. They were called the mastermind took her own life because the remaining students worked together to defeat her. Well, yeah. Yeah, that's what it was. The killing school life ended up failing in the end. As a result, the six students who survived managed to escape from the academy. Hey. For a manga about killing school life, it was drawn with a lot of silly images and dumb gags. According to that, the mastermind behind the failed killing school life was Junko Enoshima. The mastermind took her own life, which means Junko Enoshima is dead. Like. Turns out the killing school life was part of the biggest, most awful whatever incident. Junko took away the memories of former students of Hostpeak Academy and forced them to kill each other. Former students of Hostpeak Academy took away their memories. That's just like us. Apparently this whole thing was filmed by surveillance cameras and broadcast worldwide. It's a limit to being a cool asshole. Surveillance cameras and broadcasting the whole thing? So. Students of Hostpeak Academy were widely known as symbols of hope by forcing people to watch these symbols of hope kill each other for the sake of survival. They were trying to fill everyone who watched the broadcast with despair all at once. That's messed up. <laughs> but that plan was stopped. Junko Inoshima failed. Junko lost to the student she placed in her trap. And after being overcome by the despair she created, <laughs> she took her own life. So it's no more. <laughs> No matter how horrible she was, there's no reason to fear someone who's dead. Whether the Monokuma story is true or not doesn't matter. Junko Inoshima isn't alive anymore. Then, who is our enemy? If Junko Inoshima is already dead, are the rest of the ultimate despairs behind this? Are the followers of Junko carrying out her will? That's the only thing I can think of. I mean, the killings we're involved in resemble that of killing school life. Well, I don't know who the hell is imitating Junko and making us go through this hell, but... An imitation is just that, an imitation. No shit. If the students from Host Peak Academy stop the real deal, there's no way we're gonna lose to some fake. But if this is really an imitation, are those surveillance cameras the same too? The cameras all over Jabberwock Island. Are they broadcasting this somewhere? Just like the surveillance cameras during the killing school life? Man, you totally know about that story, huh? What, you have a problem with that? Well, I wanted you to read the manga version so I took the time to draw it. What are you gonna do? Oh, well, I'll just raise the flag. Flag? What do you mean, raise the flag? What's gonna happen if you do that? Ooh, One step at a time, you're getting closer to killing my character. It's not making sense. Well, I'll give you guys my all. I'll tell you everything I know, including information on the outside and the inside. Yeah. I'll raise some flags like crazy! Now we're on the fourth floor, okay. Huh? It changed to a different hallway again. It's so exciting. What's going on to make something like this happen? I've already said I'm not going to be surprised. That's right. No time for me to be surprised by something like this. So far, I'm not too much caring for this chapter 6. Ooh, I don't like that. Cause this really is just telling me a bunch of stuff that I already know, you know? Like, I, I know all this stuff. I play Trigger Happy Happy. I know all this stuff already. Looks like the music room. But this is very interesting. I really want to know what's going on here. Like, why, this is all, why all this is going on. I feel like I can see something strange. a monument. Why would there be a monument in a music? Not just that, the 
mark engraved in the monument is a symbol of future found foundation, right? Though that symbol is a short passage. To combat the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history, the graduates of Holy Speech Academy were among those, what among the many who established the Future Foundation. The Future Foundation was established by the graduates? Aren't they known as World Ender? This is completely different. Anakuma, he made it up. What is this? Words are floating in the air. I feel like a hologram, right? The floating letters are forming a sentence. It was like a passage from an email regarding the report we gave you the other day. We have obtained information. A person who claims to be a survivor of Hope Peak Academy. Upon further investigation, there are a total of 15 survivors. May be wondering about the number of people at this time. If they're survivors of Hope Peak Academy, it's possible they may be targeted by ultimate despair. We believe we should acquire them and place them in our care as soon as possible. Though I don't believe the group can go that far without Junko and Oshima rallying them. In a worst case scenario, we must prevent a repeat of the killing school life. Also, if they are survivors of Hope Speak Academy, we should expect them to be quite valuable to us. However, we are still investigating the details of their origins and we haven't located them either. We will continue investigating this matter. Also, regarding a separate matter. We have received a report from the research facility on Jabberwock Island. Preparations have been completed. It seems we can proceed with the experimental phase of the Neo World program. Survivors of Host Peak Academy. 15 students? Is that about us? Excluding Chiaki, who was part of the Future Foundation, there were definitely 15 of us, but. What do survivors mean? It's like they're talking from some other world. What happened outside Jabberwock Island? If the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history is really true, then this world isn't normal anymore, maybe. Starting to feel like we might be better off not remembering the memories we've lost. It's finally confirmed. The Future Foundation is on our side. They were founded by the graduates of Host Peak Academy, and they took us in to protect us. But if that's true, Chiaki should have made that clear to us. No, as long as Monokuma was around, she probably couldn't say anything carelessly. Monokuma, if he's the Future Foundation's enemy, then his true identity must be the ultimate despairs who caused the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. The ones who are carrying out the will of Junko and Oshima are making us go through this. Also, this caught my attention in the email too. What is this research facility on Jabberwock Island mentioned in the email? What's that about? The only Future Foundation facility we found was that ancient ruin. There's no way that's the research facility. If there's really a research facility on this island, there should be other Future Foundation members here. Somehow, there are still so many mysteries. Yo, get this black crap off my freaking screen, bro. This lounge. It feels different from a classroom. Probably the office, right? I mean, the room kind of has stuff, stuffy, has that stuffy teacher vibe to it. The office, huh? Now that you mention it, it does look like that. Well. More importantly, have you seen Miss Sonya? I don't see her anywhere. How much longer is this guy going to be obsessed with Sonya? Give it up already. I don't like you, little man. Something written on the blackboard. What's written here? List of suspects, subjects, written on the blackboard in large letters. Oh, that. Our names I've seen before. The newspaper. There's a newspaper posted on the blackboard below that. Yoko Sayanji. This is his newspaper. What is this? It says Miss Hyoko Hyoko Sayanji, but this man can't mean the same Hyoko, right? I mean the Hyoko we knew. She was much smaller and looked more childlike. It was pretty much her defining feature. But the photo in this newspaper 
In a way, I can see the resemblance to Hiyoko, but her height and figure is too different from the Hiyoko we knew. What does this mean? This lady looks pretty mature. Is she Hiyoko's older sister or something? No, it says Hiyoko Sayanji here. Oh, then Hiyoko has an older sister with a same first and last name. Older sister with the same first and last name. I mean... That's the only explanation, right? I mean, look at it yourself. That's not Hiyoko. Remember, hear her mention an older sister? Yeah. Not like I was that close to her or anything. Wrong. She doesn't have an only sister. Only, he doesn't have an older sister. Hiyoko is a Sayanji family's only daughter. Hmm. Doesn't have an older sister than a relative? No, maybe there's too much of a resemblance. What are you saying? That's Hiyoko. Huh? Of course not. What are you saying? Hiyoko doesn't have a curvy body like that. I mean, she was famous for a childlike figure. She got away with all kinds of crap for looking like that. Well... I don't know what to tell you. Maybe she had a growth spurt. What are you saying? She's already dead. No way she could have had a growth spurt. <laughs> Today, I'm feeling white. Well, regardless of all the clues, regardless, all the clues I've provided are true. If they weren't, it wouldn't be fair. What's going on? What the heck? This is the truth? This is the truth in the Hyoko in the newspaper. Is he really saying this is the same person? Possible. I mean, how can there be a photo of a grown-up Hyoko when she's already dead? Why does this even exist? Could it be related to that list of subjects over there? This is bad. This says subjects, maybe it means there was some kind of experiment, right? Are we clones, bruh? Are we clones? I remember I had that same theory in Trigger Happy Havoc, actually. I was starting to think like maybe we were clones, but that was before we knew like we were missing memories. And stuff. I started to think like we were clones. And that's why we were, you know, we, we didn't really know anything about But you know that that was that he just stole our memories. But maybe it's actually true now. Maybe we are clones. What the freak? I mean it would ex it would it would explain why there's two Hyokos. It would also explain why Chiyaki was talking about being programmed not to go against future foundation. And it would also explain why we're seeing so much glitchy technological trippy stuff. That experiment changed Hyoko's body? But well, what am I saying? Just saying it out loud sounds messed up. What experiment? Some type of experiment, that means we're also test subjects, right? I mean, our names were also written on the blackboard under that list of subjects. What kind of experiment was it? What's going on? It better not have anything to do with time travel. Izuru, an extremely overwhelming portrait is hanging on the wall. I feel like I've seen it before, but the name etched into the play card says, Host Peak Academy founder, Izuru Kamakura. Founder of Host Peak Academy and his name, Izuru Kamakura. We know that's not true. The founder was um, Kyoko's dad. Doesn't this clearly contradict the information I obtained earlier? Damn it, another mystery. There are letters floating in the air, like a music room from earlier. Looks like a passage from the email someone wrote. I think it's the same one from earlier. I guess I should read it. We understand this matter regarding the survivors. In order to safely acquire them, please do your best and continue your investigation. However, you must exercise extreme caution concerning the remnants of despair. Even though they have lost Junko Inoshima, the fact remains that they are incredibly dangerous. Even after her death, the tragedy is not ended. Perhaps there is still a leader on par with Junko and Oshima. As long as we do nothing about the remnants of despair, we will not be able to end this incident. For this reason, the remnants of despair must be immediately eliminated once they are discovered. Everything is for the sake of a shining future. Immediately eliminated? 
that mean this is in order to kill them? It doesn't sound peaceful at all. Well, I guess it's understandable. If the biggest, the most, biggest awful, most, awful, most awful, awful, most tragic event in human history is as terrible as it sounds, it's pretty much an all-out all war. war. If the remnants of the despair are the, the ones, ones waging that war, that war, there's no way no they could be given, given that, that easily. easily. Okay, with this, you've totally raised all the flags on this floor. Congratulations, ha not Hajime. You shall now go on to the next stage. Next stage. Damn it, not again. All we are different from the last time. I guess when that flag Monokuma mentioned is raised, I'll move to a different hallway than the last. But how can he do that? No, now's not the time to be confused by that. Thinking about it, it's just gonna waste my energy. I'm about to say, this is the rec room. Man, when Sakura died. There's a billiard table, a dartboard, and a shelf lined up with magazines. Hard to think. Hard to think a room like this actually exists inside a school. It's a file with Host Peak Academy seal on it. It says confidential. That means this is a big secret, right? Why would an important document be here? Why am I even asking a question like that? Monokuma's responsible. Anyway, I need to confirm what's inside the file. About the Hope Cultivation Plan. For many years, Host Peak Academy has conducted rigorous research into various talents. The Hope Cultivation Plan seeks to use the fruits of our labor to further our true goal. With our hands, we will birth a true hope that will bring hope to the entire world. Truly, the next program is the next innovation in providing in the ultimate education. This plan has been the Academy's wish since its foundation, so we must succeed at all costs. What followed was a series of detailed instructions and intricate orders. It was full of difficult technical terms, and I had no idea what any of them meant. However, the word true hope left a strong impression on my mind for some reason. The Hope Cultivation Plan was created for the sake of birthing true hope. Host Peak Academy was behind something like that? I don't really get it, but there's something about these words. True hope, huh? This hologram again. This hologram again. What's this What's one this say? It looks like another email passage regarding the report, the report we gave you the, the other day. day. We have There's finally succeeded in acquiring them and have placed them in our care. Though they were, Though they were all, dispersed, all dispersed, we were successful in acquiring all 15 of them. Due to the fact we are unable to ask about specific details, it is unknown, it is unknown, how, they unknown how they managed to survive the tragedy. the tragedy. It has it been, been reported, reported that some are wounded, so it seems certain that they survived under harsh conditions. Over the course of our detailed investigation, we determined that they are the same age as the others. We have decided to entrust them to the survivors of the caring school life. As for the After remnants the of despair, despair, there are still no are solid still no leads solid regarding leads this matter and we have no new information, to report. No new information to report. We will continue with the investigation once they are discovered, we shall eliminate them immediately. Everything is for Everything the sake for of a future, the filled, with future hope. filled with hope. It says it's here they succeeded in acquiring them and have placed them in our care. That means we should have been protected by the Future Foundation, right? Then why is this happening? If the Future Foundation was protecting us, why were we forced to kill each other on this island? I guess it's not possible that the Future Foundation set this all up. My, my, Hajime, if you keep worrying about that, you keep worrying like that, you're gonna get a toothache and collapse. It's your fault. What is this hologram thing anyway? It's exactly what it looks like. They're the Future Foundation's emails. I thought they made the perfect clue, so I did a little bit of hacking here and got the, in, in there to get them. Whoever's controlling you seems to possess many talents. No, no. I formed a thought. At this point in the story, I started thinking that Izuru might be the one controlling Monokuma. That, that's what I was saying right here, but the audio is kind of, kind of funky. But yeah, you get it, you get it. Well, who cares about me anyway? That's not important at all. My identity should connect everything to what's happening right now. Yeah. 
Wait, what the heck? It's like I'm in a different hallway again. I'm pretty much used to it by now, but even so. What the heck is this space? Am I dreaming or something? This is totally disconnected from reality. Yeah, bro, we've got to be like robots or something. What the heck? We got to be clones. It it's close. It's very close. Someone is coming. Akane is twitching his nose and examining her surroundings. Based on my gut They're definitely feeling. real close. At least that's what my gut is telling me. Then answer this with your gut. Is it an enemy or an ally? Hmm. Huh. Let's see. My gut feeling is... He's right, they're both. Both? What do you mean? You. I don't know any details, it's just my gut after all. Well, I guess that's true. Enemy and an ally. What does that mean? This is so trippy. This must be the library. Monokuma probably left something here too. I should hurry up and find it. I thought, I, just, I thought there would have been more than just a hologram. This hologram again. It must be another one of those future foundation emails. I should read it. There's no doubt it's another clue. Future Foundation 14th Division, Makoto Nayagi. Where are you guys? What are you doing right now? What you're doing is a serious act of treason. Do you understand? Why are you protecting the remnants of despair? It should be abundantly clear to you how dangerous it is to keep these people alive. Stay calm and think about this carefully. You guys are being lied to. Carefully about what's important to bring the light of hope to the world. The six of you joined Future Foundation because you agreed with our ideals, right? The Future Foundation rescued you from the tragedy you survived and cooperated with recovering your memory. Immediately return the remnants of despair to our headquarters. Unless we eliminate them, the tragedy will never end. Everything is for the sake of a future filled with hope. What does this mean? The email suggests that someone was trying to let the remnants of the spirit escape. The email is addressed to Makoto Nayagi. But he's with the Future Foundation, right? Why was he trying to protect the remnants of the spare? Did he betray them? Well, I do know one thing. Makoto doesn't see any hope in sacrifice. That he even he even wanted Junko to live in the end. You know, after defeating Junko, he didn't even want Junko to die. He still saw her as a friend. So he probably doesn't agree with them killing them. He probably wants to bring hope to the despair, the remnants of despair as well. That's my Makoto, man. I like Makoto naive. If he's not naive, then he's not Makoto. That's how I feel. Thought about it. The other, the other one might be in. Uh, might be over here. Oh, Fuyuhiko's here now. Huh, Fuyuhiko? When did you come here? What do you mean? I've been hanging here the whole time. But it feels like there wasn't anyone else in here. Are you sure you're not thinking of some other room? Well, don't worry about it. It makes sense you lose your bearings in a place like this. Oh, uh, yeah, that's trippy. What the heck? Alright, where else? What's that? Do you really think this is the time for that? B? I love me. Ugh! the laundry room what the heck huh didn't i walk into a classroom i don't really get it but um this looks like a laundry room there's no use worrying about it but i was in a school and now i'm suddenly in a laundry room it's like a tablet computer look like the power is on too I picked up the tablet and immediately began examining it Neo World Program. This word, Neo World, 
I seem to recall hearing it and seeing it a few times already. The Neo World program has another name. Psychotherapeutic Communication Simulator. The Neo World program is built with the most recent psychotherapy technology and administrative software. To develop the Neo World program, individuals such as the Ultimate Programmer, Ultimate Neurologist, and Ultimate Therapist. Wait, but Alter, alter Ego, Alter Ego still, Alter Ego died, right? Were among the many talented people whose research were utilized. Oh, so they just used um, what Alter, they just used what um, Shihiro left behind. By mounting a device to the cranium, the Neo World program allows its subjects to experience a synthetic virtual world. Additionally, the Neo World program has another feature. It can replace memories formed in the real world with information contained in a synthetic virtual world. Therefore, it is possible to undo trauma sustained in the real world through the use of the virtual world. However, this device is for psychotherapeutic purposes only. Any other use is expressly forbidden. Though it is highly effective in treating brainwashing, abusing the device risks personality destruction. Thus, extreme care must be exercised when operating this program. Slowly, everything around me turned black. Synthetic virtual world? Program? A feeling of emptiness, like everything had been, is being tainted. A feeling of weakness, like the world is collapsing beneath my feet. Everything is starting to feel meaningless. The desperate attempts, the sad goodbyes, the conflicts, the trust I felt until now. It's all disappearing until all I feel is... Despair. Ah! I screamed loudly as if I was confirming the sound of my own voice. No way I can accept this. I'm starting to accept that. That this is. There's no way something as crazy as this actually exists. Nice. You gotta raise flat. You gotta raise the flags more in order to clear my character, Root. <laughs> now then, despair is waiting for you. Impossible. This is impossible. It's all made up. Everything is all made up. Made up. Including me too. Hey, how are you doing? Did you enjoy the school trip? By the way, you guys remember the speech I made at the beginning? From this point on, I promise you the world truly deserves to be called a game. You guys are only the you guys are the only you guys are the only ones watching this who can save them. The end of the world is nigh. What you gonna do? What's gonna happen? Isn't it exciting? Isn't it heart throbbing? Look forward to it. hallway when we first arrived here i walked down this hallway from the classroom to get to the gym i don't really see a resemblance but... oh man it's just so sad. yeah i'm gonna need you to stop that that, that, that kind of hurts a little bit All right. I'm, I'm gonna keep it completely honest with you that kind of hurts well are you familiar with the placebo effect and the nocebo effect Huh? <laughs> the placebo effect is when your health improves after taking fake medication that you believe is real. And the nocebo effect is the exact opposite. Which means as long as the human brain controls all other bodily functions... Hmm, the brain believes something is real, it will become real. Why would you bring that up all of a sudden? Huh? Huh? Oh my. Huh. Um... I am not sure. I do not fully understand. You want the moment you discover that the truth was a lie, all hope will disappear. My goodness, what's happening? This floating? 
the possible? There's no way something this big would be floating like this. What in the world is it? The moment I looked at that object. That's Chihiro. Welcome. Welcome to the Neo World Program. A person? A flowing person is talking to me? Who is it? No, is this even a person to begin with? Um, I'm not quite a person. I'm simply an artificial intelligence program. It would make me happy if you called me Alter Ego. That is the name my master gave me when he created me. It can talk. But what are you? Alter Ego, artificial intelligence program? Alter Ego isn't dead. They somehow brought her back. I am the master program behind the Neo World program. I'm responsible for creating and overseeing this world. However, only the observer has the authority to directly influence you guys. I can't actually exert much influence. In fact, my existence is one that you don't normally see. And I'm sort of an apartment manager or something. I may oversee the entire apartment building, but I lack the power to manage individual rooms. But the virus has infected everything I'm supposed to be managing. And because of that, this world I'm managing is acting very peculiar. Hold on. My brain can't follow what you're saying. Let, let me gather my thoughts first. Damn it, it's that feeling from earlier again. It's floating, floating like my feet are hovering above the floor. It's like I can't feel my feet or the ground, like I can't even believe my own existence. Hey, you should know, right? Where the, Where is this place? Tell me, what is the Neo World Program? The Neo World Program has omitted the data collection procedure for shaping the entire world as such. Only the data we collected during the experimental stage is being utilized. Specifically, that means the data detail in Jabberwock Island where this research facility is located. That is why the previous Jabberwock Island cityscape was restored. Ergo, if I'm to answer your question, where is this place? The question, the answer would be mostly Jabberwock Island. Certain portions of it are different depending on the circumstances, for example, the school you're in. It appears this space is entirely under the virus's influence. That's probably why I'm appearing before you too. However, even without the virus, these circumstances are a bit unnatural. It, it seems the launch was rushed and because of that, there wasn't enough time to collect any data. I'm sorry, I don't really know the circumstances of the outside world. After all, I'm simply the overseer of the Neo World program. Most of its words. I understood what they meant, but I could've understood what was being said. There was no way for me to acknowledge it as a truth. It would make much more sense if this was a fictional world. Wait, are you saying this world is a fictional world? I feel, I feel like I can't believe what's going on here. This missing sense of reality, all the mysteries, all the truths, they're all just fiction? Is that? Even so, I need to know. I need to know what this world is. Hey, can you tell me? Hey, can you tell me? What was the Neo World program used for in the first place? The Neo World program serves only one purpose. It is used to make the real world a splendid one. I guess you can say it's a program for creating hope. A program for creating hope. But the fact that we're here and the fact that we don't have our memories, that's all the program's fault, right? Deleting memory is the first step to replacing memory. Replacing memory data is one of the features of the Near World program. With the installed memory control unit, it's possible to remove any time period that you set it to. And from there, you upload the memories obtained in the virtual world moving memories of any time period you set it to. So Monokuma was right, we did lose our school memories. But why? Why us? Why, why were our school memories taken away? There's a reason for that, right? That is a mystery to me too. Booting the program on the survivors of Holt's Peak Academy while it was still in the experimental stage. I'm sure there was a very good reason. But unfortunately, I don't know what's happening in the outside world. I'm sorry. Are you saying we're lab rats? 
That's the only thing I can think of. It sounds like we're just lab rats. The Future Foundation did that to us? But they're trying to save the world, right? Or is the Future Foundation not our ally? I'm, I'm sorry, I can't provide that much help. If only I was more reliable, I wouldn't have lost my authority to a virus like this. All these new words make my head feel like it's about to burst. Can you tell me about the Overseer, Observer, and the virus? Well, for this session, the Neo World program was programmed to house 15 people along with two monitors. Two monitors? Yeah, they were designed as a teacher and one of the students. They were intended to guide the participants in this way. By the way, the Observer and the teacher role has been given the authority to influence you all. But the Observer and the student role was not. They weren't given any special authority at all, so they'd seem the same as everyone else. What kind of authority does a teacher role have? As an example, the teacher creates the rules of this world and manages them. If the teacher is properly managing the rules they've created, there is no risk of abuse. But because the virus infecting everything, that has changed. It changed this world where violence shouldn't have existed in the first place. The Neo World program would have promised eternal peace. But just like the outside world, it's become a world filled with violence and death. What is the virus? I don't really know the details behind its true identity, but the function is beyond my capabilities. No matter how much I try to stop it, it behaves as if it already knows what I'm attempting to do. In the end, it stole a portion of my abilities which contained the authority to build the world. It was like, like a grandmaster chess player. I desperately tried to fight back so it wouldn't have complete control. But even so, a portion of the world has been modified at its convenience. She's probably talking about Monokuma Rock in the Funhouse. Based on what she's saying, it sounds like she's on the receiving end of a one-sided attack. But Alter Ego should be an impressive artificial intelligence that the Future Foundation created. I can tell that just by communicating with her, which means this supposed virus is so smart that it surpasses this alter ego. If so, does that virus possess an artificial intelligence just like her? Damn it, what the heck? An artificial intelligence waging an attack against another one, this is so freaking irritating. But how did that virus infect the Neo World program? The Neo World program exists in isolation. It's impossible it was infected through a network. I'm fairly certain someone physically uploaded it. Physically? Perhaps someone secretly brought an external memory drive containing the virus inside the facility and directly uploaded it into the main computer where the Neo World program is installed. Based on my calculations, that's most likely what happened. It was brought through the Future Foundation's facility, but the only person who can enter that facility is someone who was a member of the Future Foundation. Damn it, what am I thinking? Why am I assuming what I just heard is the truth? Why am I assuming that everything is a lie? Ah, uh, but it's true that the virus is powerful and that I'm completely overwhelmed by it, but I'm still able to defend the essential areas. So it has a limit too, a limit. If it took over as observer, then it has to follow the rules of an observer. Um, such as, in order to end the program and release everyone, I need to follow the correct- Hey, come on. Hey, even if you're just a god in the machine, that's enough hints from you. If you're gonna say something more, suppose that you exist between life and death. The death of yourself is inevitable. If so, it can be parallel to the deflection based on the definition of existence and the constitutes the relationship, the parent, and just- by the result, cut off rapidly causes information. Celebrates and crosses with the joint ownership of the world. Death, 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 death. Hey. What the heck? What, what just happened? 
Makoto? Makoto? My, the God, Makoto! My, my ultimate hope, I missed you so much! You don't understand how much I missed you, my ultimate hope. You're the only ultimate hope here, man. That's my protagonist. That's my protagonist. Hajime, get out. That's my protagonist. But you're right there, aren't you? Someone is right there, right? Huh? Who are you? Are you different from the earlier one? Maybe you can't hear my voice from this side. I'm currently talking to the world through Alter Ego. Ever since you guys vanished into that space, the video's feedback has been pretty distorted. But even so, we were forced to watch you this entire time. The things you guys were forced to do, we were forced to watch it. Forced to watch us. I really wanted to save you right away, but because of the virus and interference, I couldn't. Our orders are no longer being accepted, including shutdown requests. The real world program is beyond our control now. In that world, that person created an independent country that doesn't accept outside interference. But Alter Ego created an opportunity to speak to you directly. If this means that's working, then it means that the person I need to talk to right here, I hope. That means the person I need to talk to is right there, I hope. Looks like the guy can't hear or even see. Who is this guy anyway? Our ally? Since there's no time, I'm gonna say what I need to say and believe you're there listening. But first, I should apologize to everyone. I know apologizing won't help, but we didn't imagine something like this would happen. Never expected such an atrocious virus was lurking inside the Neo World program. But that's entirely our fault. It's our responsibility for not realizing until it was too late. But it's not just a virus either. I can't say for sure that the program didn't have any problems in the first place. To tell you the truth, I was unsure about whether or not to run the program on you. But that, this was the only way to save you all. I wanted to save you guys. Save us? What do you want to save us from? Why would this save us? You've already seen the password to enter the graduation exam ground, right? No, 11037? The number we find at Nezumi Castle. Door to the ancient ruin was supposed to open after you finished gathering all the hope fragments. From there, you were supposed to challenge the graduation exam. However, I prepared that password just in case something went wrong. Like I said earlier, I had my doubts that this program was perfect. Even if the chance was slim, I thought the observer might end up going rogue. That's the reason I left this 11037 password in a place where the teacher's role was not able to go. I never thought Nagito, who saw it first, would erase that password. Anyway, I'm also the person who set that password to that number. That number contains a secret. Someone close to me left that number to me when I was in a dilemma. Can you understand what I'm trying to say? I think I remember when that was and I... Oh! Is he talking about when, um... Sayaka wrote Leon in numbers? He, oh, that's hard. That's a nice callback. You understand what I'm trying to say? I'm entrusting that will to you all. I've entrusted it to your future. But that person is trying to abuse the graduation exam. I'm sure they are going to crush you with despair using the graduation exam that's waiting for you. But I want you guys to endure it without giving up on hope. I want you guys to withstand it until I get there. Because I have a secret to defeat them. Does that mean he has a secret plan to defeat Monica? In a worst case scenario where an observer has the role of teacher goes rogue, I prepared a hidden command to use the graduation exam site. It's the fourth shutdown sequence. Fourth shutdown sequence. Even the teacher's authority can't stop that command. It's a way to end this so you guys can choose on your own, independently of the observer. Even if they stole the teacher's authority, they shouldn't be able to stop it. If you use that, you guys will win. In order to start the fourth shutdown sequence, you need more than half the number of people. And in order to do that, 
I need to somehow get that number. We don't even have half the number of people. We have only five. Hmm? Is that why he... Is that why he dwindled us down to five? Because if we had seven, Makoto would have been able to shut it down. On Akuma, you bitch! What was that just now? Hey, Hajime, what was that weirdness just now? Nothing really. Anyway. Oh well, that's all the hints you're gonna get. If that no good artificial intelligence tells you any more useless stuff, <laughs> I'm gonna butt in again. Did Monokuma not notice what just happened? It's been a while since I've spoken at length, but it was important to talk to you. It was worth waiting a long time here. Hey, about that guy just now. There shouldn't be anything else for you to ask me. I see. It'd be bad if Monokuma overheard us. That means Monokuma doesn't know about the conversation I had with that guy just now. You guys have a weapon, a very powerful weapon. It all depends on how you guys use that weapon. The only thing I can do is prevent the virus's invasion with all my might so you guys can use that weapon. The rest is up to you all. Do your best. Do our best, huh? But what do we even have to do our best? The mystery is getting solved. I'm finally starting to see the truth. But what are we supposed to do when that truth is really a lie? We know we're working towards a conclusion that nobody wants to hear. But still, do we really need to work hard and do our best? Is there really a reason to do our best? If everything is a lie, then isn't everything just meaningless? It's the same as for the killings too. Even though we had to experience something as painful as that, something as tragic as that, wouldn't all of that be meaningless too? When the world is flipped over and becomes so irrational? What am I supposed to do? Um, so, uh, I'm getting tired of waiting. Shall we just plunge right in? It's time for the long-awaited graduation exam! Please enter the red door located on the first floor of Hope Speak Academy! <laughs> See you soon! A red door, huh? It's just a waste of time thinking about what this all means right now. But now I need to finish this. I need to just focus on that. Means this red door, right? Do I just have to go in here? If I do that, will this all be finished? Oh, that's so trippy. Like everyone's here damn right this is going to be the final place however however this place is, is this the trial field why is it a trial field i've been there for the one before um You've been here before right yeah this is the place that the door at the ancient ruins lead to hey uh, it seems pretty strange that we've been in another in that other building up till now damn it like we're dreaming or something. If this is a dream, then this too is very <laughs> So you finally arrived! Congratulations! You guys are the first ones to ever beat this game! 
After stopping by Host Peak Academy, you finally come back to this place. Yeah. To the graduation exam site within the ancient ruins of Jabberwock Island. Yeah. You can give it a fancy name like Graduation Exam Site. It's no different than the trial ground from before. Yeah. This trial ground has actually inspired, actually inspired the one from before. So in a way, this place is the original. Hey, hey. There, this graduation exam means we can finally go home, right? Is that what you guys decide? Huh? And if we have to decide, what do we have to do? Now then. Please take a look at the LCD touch panel built into your seat. Compared to the other trials, the rules are much simpler this time. Yes, indeed. There are two options, graduate and repeat, right? All you have to do is choose one of them and press it. All you will cast your vote and whichever one has a majority will be considered your final decision. If you don't press either one, it will be treated as an absence and will not be counted. In other words... Which means everyone who has died up till now will have their votes treated as absence. Then... And the result is based on a remote majority vote. Hmm. If graduate is chosen by a majority vote, from there, an event that's kind of like a graduation ceremony called the graduation program will begin. <laughs> Even if there's stupid majority vote, the result is pretty damn obvious. Well, let's move along. We can press it now, right? No, no, no. You can't do that yet. Hmm. I mean, your resolve hasn't firmed yet, right? Your will will be swept away by society's harsh current. Shut up! Shut up! Who the hell cares? We're gonna press it. What's this? My, which of which of your orifices are are you using to spew bile? To participate in the graduation program, my final say is your teacher. You know. What does that mean? It won't end with just a majority vote. That's right. After the vote, I'm gonna judge every single one of you to see if it's okay for you to graduate or not. Damn it! Even if we vote, you're saying we won't graduate unless you acknowledge it. Wow. Well. Uh, well, I'm terribly sorry for being rude earlier. No way! But you don't have to worry. There's no way I won't acknowledge your graduation. This is merely a formality. I'm just doing it because I, that's how it has to be. I'm doing it because it's how it has to be. It doesn't mean he can exert his will over everything. This is what Alter Ego was talking about. Anyway. Even if you guys don't want to do it, you still need to solve the mystery. Afterward, you can cast your majority votes, and from there, we can move on to the graduation program. <laughs> Why do we have to go through something so dumb? Hmm. Well, that is. You said we were waiting for the main cast, right? Mm -hmm. Which means you're just stalling time then. Huh. Who's the main cast? Oh, need to worry about it. It has nothing to do with you guys. That is... There is no way it has nothing to do with us. We're the only ones who are involved, you know? So annoying. It doesn't matter if you're involved or not. You're just a bunch of chumps in the big picture. That's why it has nothing to do with you. Just perform your roles without complaining. You pissed me off. Hold on, what's with the chump comment? I can't ignore that. Not as important or anything, just make sure you turn off that toy. I won't forgive you. How dare you treat him like a toy? What's this? I did treat it like a toy. You got a problem with that? I created everything. <laughs> You're actually picking a fight with me? I'm basically a god. Just how promising can you be? I guess this is just the nature of life. Fine then, before you die, sear my power into your memories. <laughs> 